Hey guys, M12 here. I am back with another video. I'm playing this something called Dungeon Siege 3. I saw that this was a game on the, X on the Xbox Live Store and whatnot. I bought it. I thought it would be kind of cool to show off. I mean, it, it took a while to download, but uh, I, I, I've been playing around with the game just to sort of get an understanding of how it is. Or, like, well, mainly nothing really important happened. I did, like, maybe one or two side missions, just walking around, talking to people, trying to understand what the whole point of this game is. Because this is the third installment, and, well, I, f I don't even know what the other two are, but the game looked good. I found it, I came across it, and I'm like, so I wanted to show you guys this. And apparently I play as Lucas, because I chose that character, and there was, like, different ones. I didn't really look into them. I'm more of a guy who... Given a choice, I'd rather do close combat rather than worry about range and finding ammo for weapons and all that crap. Because, like I do in, um, zombies, like in Call of Duty Zombies, like, I'll, I'll have to worry about, like, I'm gonna have to save money to buy more ammo, all that crap, but... No, okay, I just... Tap when I want... And it looks like, um, I just saved this caravan's, like, um, cart of some sort. And apparently I have new items. That one's a worth a lot. Along with that, but these, apparently these are better in every way than all these, because they're both have red, which means I lost stuff. I'm gonna quickly go over what I learned Okay, so will is like your ability to call on the super paranormal stuff, not like your will to fight or how long you'll be willing to continue fighting in a battle. Apparently this is some sort of rare sword, because this thing I found very early on and it can cast, um, sometimes burn people, something called chaos fire. Heck, I don't, I'm not completely sure of what everything does, but I, I've, this is just an awesome game, and I wanted to show you guys. And, well, this guy... Uh, nope, I have to go to the cart, do the action thing, and I can sell him crap. These are all the stuff that is not better than the current stuff that I'm wearing, so I'm gonna sell all this. Because mainly some of that I cannot actually wear myself. And according to the little face in the background behind the, um, thing, I, it tells you who can do that. You see the face behind the claim, claymore of light? That, pretty much, if you look close enough, it's, it's a picture of your character. And it tells you that you can equip this for that character. Like, if I go here, it doesn't have my character behind the swift helmet, which means I can't equipped it or use it despite the fact that my character doesn't look like he's wearing a helmet and you can't craft one in the menu now my current mission in this is led by these glowing orbs they look like glums from this like rayman game i played on game boy Advance. but my guy has two stances he fights with the sword and shield or he can put those away and fight with the stronger heavier two-handed sword but the downside is is that it's heavier in attacks or slower, but it does more damage. Now, for me, knowing a thing or two about military history, especially taking class on high school and all this stuff, and I'm very interested in this, then I can tell you that a two-handed sword in medieval times, on average, was about, like, 20 pounds at least. Maybe more, it all depends upon which type. Because all kingdoms made their swords differently, or depending upon the blacksmith that they got it from and whatnot, but, um... I do know that two-hand swords were at least 20 pounds each, at least, or more. And apparently, um, at this village that I was at, someone was killed in, seeing how I'm the last member of, uh, this somehow, some called Legion. I'm pretty much doing favors, trying to restore hope in the Legion and trying to rebuild it, because, well... I was part of uh, a legion that protects this great kingdom and all, and then apparently some evil douchebag tried to take it away from us. And I'm like the last remaining person of our line of like our um, 
heritage of noble family men of this kingdom. Uh, apparently my father and mother were rulers. And there is a slight chance that I could have uh, another sibling. Like a brother or sister that that's here, but I didn't know about them because I pretty much grew up living in different um, households. Like safe houses. For my own safety. Now I'm just gonna bash this guy with my shield and stun him. And then slice him. Because bosses take a lot more damage. And apparently I grabbed some loot, so this is quite cool. Now I'm going to destroy this. I get uh, stuff and all of that, which is good. But now I'm going to... I can't get across the bridge, and there's a save point there, so that's good. That sort of is really preventing me from doing that. And now I can do this to follow my way back. But I don't need to know, because I've been there. I just need to know where Boris was, or the general direction thereof. It. And I didn't pick those up. Now, um... I'm not... Now, for this game... There are many different characters I'm gonna talk about as well. That I don't know much about, but, uh... From the looks of it, you could've played as a mage, some sort of guy who's a fire spirit, someone who uses firearms. Now, this game is sort of accurate in the fact that these aren't, like, firearms such as, like, a bazooka, like, automatic assault rifles like we have today, as this is more medieval era, but there's also the unrealistic part where people cast magic, and sometimes swinging people with my sword catches them on fire. Although, that's not a problem. Because what I have is a... Because, um, because uh, there are different players, and I don't really see that as a problem in any way, shape, or form. Like, it's kind of hard at first to adapt, but after playing for a good 30 minutes or an hour, you sort of get to understand how the whole game goes. Now, aside from... A wizard, uh, a fire spirit, and a firearms guy, plus the guy I'm playing as. There may be one other, I don't know, I didn't read all of them to play as. But uh, I think this is kind of a cool game, and I will try and do playthrough of it. Although, there are certain parts where I will be ahead a mission or two, like side missions. Because I don't think those are... Because I don't know if you guys want to actually see that, despite the fact that I'm trying to do, like, maybe the whole main story mode. And probably not show you the grinding that I did. But, uh, like, I don't want to record myself just killing enemies, like, leaving, going to, like, uh, Raven Mill, leaving to the forest, kill guys, and then come back, eat back and forth just to grind XP and all that stuff. I'm not probably not going to show you guys that. But, um, but, uh, this, this might be a new series that I'm doing on my channel as well. Uh, aside from that, I'm, I'm far off from where I should be, to be honest. But another save point, which is kind of cool. This guy in the weapons he uses sort of reminds me of Valros from the card game Pathfinder, um, which is an awesome game, by the way. So you should, which is, which, if you guys like, like games, like, I don't know really how to describe Pathfinder, but it is an awesome game. Anyway. Pretty much the people I'm fighting now are just mercenaries who are from who pretty much get paid to fight and they don't uh, fight under a kingdom or a nation and these people are bad. They literally um 
fight me, and they pretty much... The enemies of our kingdom that we're trying to take back have pretty much put bounties on us, so, like, all the mercenaries are like, well, they're paying us more than what the kingdom could pay us currently, and now we're just pretty much... have these guys, and they're not very well skilled, and they're just a nuisance to me at this point. Okay, I already looted what was over there. Welcome to Raven Rail. Great. And I can't even slice the sign in half. And that was a Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time reference, but, uh, because cause you can do that and whatnot, but, uh. Is it done? Has the Lasconzi dog been put down? He's dead. I hope you can find some measure of peace. The peace I sought was not for me. With his death avenged, Vaklov's soul will find its way to the river. There exists a debt between us now, Legionnaire. One of blood and kin. What can an old woman do to repay such a debt? Anything you can spare to help our cause would be welcome. Take. I must go. Farewell. Okay, sweet. So, I got some coins, and now I might go buy something. I don't know. If you are this far into the video, if you want to see more of this content of this game and whatnot, and what if you want me to cover all the miscellaneous side missions and all that stuff, and how I... and and tips on how I grind and stuff and what I've been doing, if you want to know all of that stuff, let me know in the comment section down below. Anyway. Let me see. That gives me more warding and stagger. But I don't have this, because I'm... Uh, yeah, I'm not a... Ooh! 14 agility. 12 attack, but it has Chaos Poison 6 instead of Chaos Fire 2. That's 3,000. Wow. This one just has higher attack and higher agility. I might just go with this, but uh, this sword... But this sword itself doesn't have, like, chaos something, so instead of, like, having no chance of setting someone on fire, but does a base damage, which is, its base damage for the sword is higher, which I rather prefer to have that, but I can't get that at the moment. So I'm going to try and continue and... See where I can go. Like, I was told to go through the West Woods and um, go somewhere. So, um, I'm going to actually open up my player menu. Go to Quest. Select this as active. And it will guide me. I didn't even know that this was possible. Like, I am completely new to Dragon Siege games, but. Or Dungeon Siege, or however you pronounce it. I've been mispronouncing it. Either that or it's my... Either that or I'm having trouble reading the name because I'm a bit dyslexic, so... Oh, and apparently if you hold down the up button on the D-pad, it opens up the menu. But if you tap it, it just tells you the direction in which you want to go, but only lasts for a little while. But you can keep hitting it. I don't know if that costs salmon or something, but... Okay. More people, so... Okay, I'm gonna kill these guys because I think they're spawning these, um, skeletons here. Okay. 
Okay, that's good. Can I pick up anything? A few gold coins. Nope, nothing else. Okay, let's keep moving on. An action roll, because this seems to be faster. There's no button to walk. Ooh, this cavern of some sort. Papa, you have come. I was beginning to fear my sister was too late, and you were killed or taken by the others. Okay! I was told you had some information that would be useful. Straight to business, then. Pity. You weren't the only one who escaped the slaughter at the estate. But the others were soon recaptured or slain. The Lascanzi took prisoners. Where are they being held? In this very cave. At least one is still alive. Maybe more. I offer you this. A key that will open the prisoners' cages. If you hurry, they might still be saved. Then let's get right to it. If they can be saved. And if it turns out to be genuine, you'll have my thanks. I am pleased to see I was right about you. Go now. It would be better if I were elsewhere. Perhaps we'll speak again after this affair is finished. I guess. So from the shop, it's I could tell that there are certain things I couldn't buy. Because they don't go with my character. Like, I don't have use for that. I'm like a magic staff. Like, I don't cast spells. I'm a sword guy. So my question is, could I buy that for other characters? Like, will other people join me? Or will they not? I don't know, but, uh... I'm just gonna... Holy crap, there's a lot of them. I've set this thing... I have this ability allows me to heal 50% of my health, but over the course of 30 seconds. Now I leveled up, and I'm going to show you what that does here. But first... Okay, let me see. Just going to pick that up. Okay. Okay, I picked up some items. Now this guy's dead. Now that I've leveled up, I'm gonna go to abilities. Now, not only... Now, sometimes I'm allowed to um, get proficiency points in some of these as well when you level up, but I... Uh, it doesn't always happen, so I don't know why. I guess they go at certain every so often. When you go to the, when you get to this level, you'll get another one. I was sort of hoping it would happen this sometime um, very soon, so I could uh, help. Okay, now it does it. Like apparently, I have to wait until after combat. I guess. Per rank of Live by the Sword. So these per rank of Live by the Sword. But what's Live by the Sword? I guess there are um, certain ranks for certain skills. Critical hit deals an additional 10 damage per rank. When Lucas defeats an opponent, there's a 4% chance per rank. That in Victory Rush, per rank in Victory Rush, that he will regain 10% of health. Now, I like that. Like this one, 4% bonus attack per rank, so it sort of like increases his uh, base attack. Like, I went for this first, then that. I. And now I'm confirming talents. I don't know. 
I'm, I'm sort of learning this as we go. So, of course, it wants me to go this way. But I'm gonna go this way. More enemies, more EXP. You know, all of that. Now this sword, the way it attacks with, is good for crowd control. It allows me to attack multiple enemies at once, and usually when I'm outnumbered, I will often use this. Now I'm gonna save here as well, because save often in this game, if you screw up something big time, like just spend all your money on an item, then find out that you can't even put it on for your character. And then realize you can't sell it back for full price and you got, like, screwed out of some money. Well, that's happened to me, so I actually um, went back and saved that. Apparently that's a sword. Now, I'm going to actually look at what I can equip. Because I said I got new items. Ooh! Chaos Lightning 9! This is interesting. It says I got new items where, okay. So this one has Chaos Fire 2 and Chaos Lightning 4, but has two more attack. I'm gonna stick with this. Like, I just got a bunch of new. This one lowers my block, but increases my attack. So, I don't know. I'm just gonna stick with this. For now. Anyway. This is a whole lot of stuff. Wow. Anyway, guys. I am going to end this video of Dungeon or Dragon Siege off here whatever it is i'm dyslexic i can't read it and i will see you guys later in another video if you would like it would be highly appreciated if you leave any comments questions or feedback in the comment section down below also on screen is my gamer tag if you want to send me questions over there then you'd be more than welcome to and i'll see you guys later in another video